Hello guys, Solitary Gaming here, back with a game of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Spare, and let's get started. Okay. Hey, can you hear me? Who's that? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? Is this Makoto or is it a new character? What happened? I should try to remember that I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that formed in my in my mind. Think 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 think. As I get as I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I I Whoa, what's this? That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Oh, so there's a new main character now. I'm gonna miss Makoto. And when that long away day finally came, I felt proud in a way. I can't really put into words. Maybe we'll see Makoto later. I felt like I had just become a part of something. Greater than myself, does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was I was truly in a dream. Hope Speak Academy, the same place? I thought it was gonna be a new academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball with long will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope Speed Academy. Hope Speed Academy is a government funded school for a privileged elite of society. It recruits, uh, it recruits top students from every magical field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Never a Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Not really. That does not happen, no. And just so you know, that's not a joke or exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alum alumni of the school. Well, that's basically what Hope Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend the school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in 
as if the academy scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now because the talents of those who were chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school has desired more than anything else. The truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Is he not an ultimate? He just, he just got here by luck? Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out s soon enough. And it's nothing sp special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Oh, it's Johnny, it's Johnny Bosch, a voice actor. I don't know. It's a, it's a voice actor, Johnny, Johnny Bosch. He does, I think, I think he does voices for Ichigo. And I think Adachi from Persona 4 Golden. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why, to feel like a member of society, to become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always wanted to... For that reason, I always... Always, 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 always... Always, until I always... I never want to admit, admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hope... I might have my talent in 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 individuality, but I finally forever tried my best. Finally came true. Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this glass room. Need? What? Need? No. I should hurry. Whoa! So 16 students again? Like last game? Huh? Who goes there? Uh... Um... Are you feeling alright? You look quite pale. Uh, um... That looks like the fat version of Tagami. Look at that. That's like the fat version of T Tagami. That guy right there. And that girl looks like Junko. Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? Uh, then... You're all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. These guys, everyone. The freshmen who were accepted into Hope's Peak Academy, the ultimate. I assume... Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? Hmm. <laughs> Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Is that really Tagami? Ah, uh, eh, yeah, uh, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right, first impressions, first impressions are crucial moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others and while Try my very best to act cool. I step inside, close door behind me, 
and I sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if, as if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Uh, excuse me. What? What is it? So this is Tagami. Why are we all gathered in this classroom? How'd he get so fast? If it isn't Tagami, then it's his, it's his relative. No one said anything about coming here. So is that like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. <laughs> Actually, we we're just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start this the discussion. discussion. <laughs> and it's everyone, how do you, how do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in the class in this classroom. And this guy's 16 students. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. And just what are we going to talk about? The reason why we're all, we're all gathered in this classroom? <laughs> First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how I came to this classroom? Eh? We all looked at, around at, at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realize that you were in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones will Super looking ones will agree, right? What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean, stupid looking? So, in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here. And you don't know why. <laughs> That's what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Huh? Yeah, that dizziness wasn't just me. Everyone felt the same dizziness, that's weird. <sighs> Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just coincidence then? Huh? So in other words... Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for a strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? Is Mokuma back? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Huh? Huh? I don't know what you're so worried about. But that doesn't sound like a huge deal. So is this guy like Mondo? He's like the big tough guy. Huh? Oh, and that's like, and that guy looks like Leon. What do you mean? So what I mean is, I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that mean? Huh? What do you mean? We can't leave? And that girl is like Hina. Impossible. Eh, yeah, seriously. I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but huh? It won't open. I can't open it. Huh? Oh, huh, why? <coughs> A little while I forgot here. Try to leave to go take a shit. <coughs> But that door wouldn't budge at all. Hey, hey! Hey, what's going on? Sheesh! Even with all my even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It would be absolutely 
possible for all of you. What? Ed, what do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? It's not possible. She's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. <sighs> Though I don't quite understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we've been locked inside the class, this classroom. Locked inside? Oh, same music as the last game. What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. I saw a feeling of unspeakable dread begin selling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous. This is... Or perhaps, does it make more make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academy? However... But according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... It may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! All you're wrong, it's this not an entrance exam. What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass. Why should you make that QC voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then who is it? Um. It's actually mine. <laughs> Who's here? Who? Where are you? Perhaps. It sounds like someone. Sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. Who is it? Oh, it's another version of Monokuma! Wait, no, that's what not a is that? That's not a bear, though. That's a rab rabbit. Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical miracle girl Usami. A.K.A. Usami. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's, see who's, see who's seeing this? What's going on? No, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? Ah! And that's a chihuahua? Everyone! Does everyone, does everybody here know what a, rab what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am. A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Huh? Hold on, let me process this first. Ta-da! Okie dokie. Um. Um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, talk before. Hmm. <laughs> it's probably a remote control or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote control, doesn't it look too li lifelike? It's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerism are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situ situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of the school trip. What? What did you say? School trip. Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? <laughs> A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal, literal answer. Ding 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 ding! Now let's depart for this, for a fun school trip. Depart? Wait. Whoa! Oh, it's a beach.
Huh? Couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set for what appeared before me was and said was. Blue sky, white clouds. Blue sea, white waves. What? What the hell is this? No matter how I try to rationalize it, it was that normal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blankly wrong. Um. Huh? Whoa, 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 what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! Where are we? Why? Oh, what's going on? Everyone! Please stay calm. <laughs> There's no reason to panic. See, look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washed away. Even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on, give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where are you ask? Well, obviously where. <laughs> Out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Out by sea. <laughs> I understand this, this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um. You know your voice is going to get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this. But we were just at school. And now we're about. Now we are by sea. It's horrible. It's impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec. But like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? We totally skip all the stuff that comes first. She's right, we're all supposed to be attending Hope's, Hope's Peak Academy. I see! Ah, uh, Hope's Peak Academy, I see, see, don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy. Then in that case... Alrighties! Please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? Bastard! What the hell do you mean we should forget about, forget about it? Come on! Hey, what are you? Just why are you scheming? Who? Uh... What? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. Everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem! There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there's, there is no need to worry at all. Wait! Island, did you just say island? Yup, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us. An island free from other people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Unha Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other. How do you know? Who? Uh... Kill each other? That's... No, no way. Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain. It's a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill just saying it horrifies me. Yeah! So scary. What are you thinking? Then, what is the school trip mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Ta-da! Alright, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule of this heart throbbing school trip. What? What did you say? Heart throbbing school trip. That's right. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days, nourishing hope and lazing about. Free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey dovey, heart throbbing school trip is. Yippee -ki -yay! Everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then. Let the heart throbbing school trip begin! It goes without saying, but I have no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering. Mind growing, 
ground to a halt. Oh, it's, it's Tugami! So that is Tugami! I'm pretty sure it just said Yakuya Tugami. Okay, let's save here. Hey! Can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too, since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Hey. Are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, sun's ray beaming down on me, the soft trop tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't don't know what's going on. I was supposed to be attend I was supposed to attend Hope Speed Academy. Why this? Because Hope Hope Speed Academy is, is no more. It got destroyed. Why am I here at a place like this? Now, Rabbit Thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangen Island. I'll explain basic controls to you. The left stick can maneuver the reticle on the screen. With the reticle response, press the A button. And then examine that person or object. Also, can shift your point of view of the right stick. If you press the square button, or the not square, the what is that? If you press that button, you can examine. You can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine. I don't know what that button is. world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do this or if you're able to do all this from the get-go now then please search this island I let this beach thoroughly and progress the story Crystal clear, shining blue sea is perfect for a tropical island. Just what is going on here? I never won anything like this at all. Hmm, is that a camera? A surveillance camera. 
Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our own safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now is not the time for me to be impressed by it. Hey! So how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion about after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Oh, he's ultimate lucky student this time. Oh, along with my introduction. I guess I also I'll also tell you about my talent. So you know why so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. <sighs> well even if I tell you, in my case it's pretty disappointing talent. Disappointing talent, what do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called, anyway. Ultimate lucky student. You're right. Through a country-wide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student selected at random to attend. Host pick Academy as an ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just has so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery, is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me? I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter a host boot academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me. But they told me that they they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully under understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year for an annual lottery. <laughs> Host Peak Academy is amazing. If they can act, if they can actually. Research something as big as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy. So for that, I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. <laughs> uh, sorry. I have, a bad I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic, pessimistic lens. Uh, yeah. I guess that's it for my introduction. Hmm. Nagita Komeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey! Now that it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. 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 Oh no, I think, it, I think it's called, um. I think he's Hinata? Hmm. Then let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? I think he's the ultimate detective, then. I... Uh, or does he not remember? I, I... I opened my mouth, but the words were not formed. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. Oh, is he the ultimate detective, but he forgot Amnesia? Amnesia? Did he take his memories away from him? 
as if I op opened a book expecting to find words. Instead, I found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely advanced from my mind. Huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Oh, that's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. <laughs> I'm sure you remember soon once you settle down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. I guess we're done for introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Hey, did something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand in my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now. Definitely came from the inside of my inside of my pocket. What the hell is this? Oh, e, e handbooks are back. It's like a PA or a smartphone. Why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was pa was passing them out earlier. Remember? <laughs> All right, seemed pretty out of it when it, when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but... What is this? Ding, 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 ding. Whoa, she just appeared out of nowhere. It's an e-handbook. What the? Where'd you come from? I'm sorry! Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um... Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for a school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. This advice is that important. I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their e-handbooks to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope, hope fragments? What are those? That's right! Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is, that is the main purpose of the school trip. Love, love! Hey! She's gone. The stuffed animal that moves talks and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. Right away? How do you know? It's gonna be danger at all. How does he know all this? It's like he's predicting the future or something. Or or he already knows about the killing game. You're probably right, but more importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That's also true, but where did everyone go? Perhaps Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Hey! As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? <laughs> so why don't we finish introduction, introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? 
I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already. I'll, but I'll tag along with you. So now you decide to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'm worried if I was left alone. Alright! Shall we get going then? Yes, let's go! But is this really okay? I feel so relaxed, that's a strange situation. Perhaps it's the tropical climate. Or is that... Or is it that... What's your name? Yusami's fault. What happened? What is it? Hajime, let's get going. Right, guys. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? You're now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the e-handbook, the X button. It's super easy. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card which documents everyone's information. There are, there are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more. You can also view the transcript with the back button. That's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone else. Alright, you can exit the beach with a B button. Hey! All about exploring the island. It appears to map this island has been installed onto this e handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research by everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. But you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Hey, you don't know. The school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about students. Then was I also... Hmm... Hmm... I don't recall seeing your name there. Probably overlooked it. How unexpected! Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepting to Hope Speak Academy. Yep! Anyway, I'll help you out too. So, why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. First, I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island. This island, then. Oh, I should apologize. There's something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map on your, in your e-handbook, you will be able to see where everyone is. You can, you can also instantly travel to any location. This way is go. Also, when you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, the story will improve or progress. Super convenient. Now then, let's go. Travel on the island can be done through the screen. You move with the left stick. You can run by pulling the B button when you move. While you move, if you press the left and right direction buttons. You can also instantly move to the next area. When the rectal responds. Go inside places by pressing the, the A button. You probably re realize it by now, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your e handbook. A pet? Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take. You try walking places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, raising your pet there may be a small reward.
This is so this is so different. This air airport, right? So those things over there must be airplanes. Can we use those planes to escape this island? Ah. No, that's impossible. If they are damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like those planes are just for show. Just for show. Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Complete removed. Whoever brought us to this island must have all must have also done that, right? Same person is controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who's doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't. They didn't shoot, introduce yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> As expected, from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a savvy on when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix his plane, it's truly really beyond repair. Hey! Even so, Jax removed the engine. Whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. Think so too, huh? Doesn't that sound seem pretty strange to you? That was close! Yeah, it's pretty strange. But I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do anything... We're forced to do something dangerous or anything. Ah. <sighs> And that was mentioned in safety precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written in the e handbook? Rule 1 Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peacefully and relaxing with your fellow students. Rule 2 Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain. Hope fragments. Layering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. Rule 4. Lead te teacher not directly interfere with students. An exception to this rule is made if any students violate the rule. For now... It looks like we're being kept safe. So why wouldn't this be just like any other school trip. Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Susami said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to keep help to help us do that. Are you saying we should believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know. But don't be such a pessimistic. Just look at this situation with a little bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right! Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our, vac our vacation. See how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> you stare closely at, the str at that strange looking blind girl. She might start looking pretty cute. I don't think so. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. Yeah. 
You fiend. Stop right there. You value your life to not come any closer. Huh? Fine. Hmm, I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others might see your courage and recklessness. Others might see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well! In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. You may never forget as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Ultimate Breeder? Rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious. That's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now that it's, it's my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Eh? You! Which tribe did you make your pack with? Answer me. Huh? What do you mean, pack? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Answer me now. Though I, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. That's best, best if I don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was Hermit. Crab we pass around in, in elementary school. Impossible! So mere insect. Taste your powerlessness! Ha! Ah, your magical essence. Caps at lowly five. Trash. Trash, really. Kneel. Hmm? It's a wrong call, trash, trash. Trash like you should not dare to speak to one. As grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka! Who do you think I am? I'm the great and powerful. Gundam Tanaka, Supreme Overlord as of Ice. Hold on, hold on a minute. Something strange came out of, just came out of your scar. Oh, that's Hamster. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark divas of destruction, Mirage, Golden Hawk, Jun P, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us so don't make us angry. It's more like us when we're angry. Bah. <laughs> Yeah, I know he seems a little odd. But apparently, he did splendidly as a member of the Breeding Club. I heard he can tame any animal, even managed to succeed at proliferating and endangered species. The rumor has that he can speak to animals. Well, it's probably just a joke. Speak with animals. Well, it's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scar. For now. Hey. Market. So this is a supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on tropical island, does that mean we're on in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necess necessities for a while. For a while. Wow. It's just figure speech. But there's no guarantee that anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poison? What? Hmm, you certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even this supermarket is strange. Look around. 
We're in this gigantic supermarket, and there's nobody else here but uh, except us. <laughs> well, that can't be helped. Do you know says island is uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Uh, what happened? It's nothing. Oh, you can't remember anything. You're staring at me funny. Um. Um, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, she's a shy type. Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl, that's not cool, Hajime. He didn't do anything, though. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Honestly, her name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Of course. I don't mind you remembering it, but... M my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. The ultimate nurse. Well, I mean, no. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> my mind is strong and blank from nervousness. I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time. And remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever, if that's what it takes. <laughs> forever? Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so. What's her deal? Uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best to get along with her now. If you get wounded, and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you get infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. <laughs> it's just I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, not that you actually want, want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. <laughs> I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Boy and girl not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does it keep happening? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Oh, level two. So this is where I'll be stopping off for today. Thank you for watching this part of Dengen Ropa 2, Goodbye Spear. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.